Hello and welcome to this week's Angelical Card Reading for week commencing the 23rd of September 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to raise your consciousness, step out onto your spiritual path, come out of that spiritual closet and take the steps to take back charge of your destiny so that you can spread your wings and soar. Now, this week we're going to be using Carl Gray's Keeps of the Light Oracle Cards. But as always, before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And with that in mind, thank you so much to everyone who attended the Harness the Power of the Autumn Equinox and Unlock Your Spiritual Potential you're an amazing group of people and if you weren't able to catch the live where there were guide meditations to um, increase your intuition, to manifest your life purpose, um, to do how, uh, learn how to do an oracle card reading, then the replay is still available until uh, the 28th of uh, September. Um, so do uh, check that out. If you'd like the link, um, give me a heart and I will send that to you. Now, as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. Oh, and of course, Angel Wings membership is going to be opening up um, after the 28th of September and it's going to be open for a week for new members. So if you're interested in being part of a community, um, learning new things, um, looking at all the videos that are on there, uh, the live Q and A's, the master classes, guest speakers, discounts, um, WhatsApp group, and so much more, um, then uh, please do uh, check out uh, the membership. Um, it'll be lovely for you to join us. So. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 23rd of September 2024? What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 23rd of September 2024? Okay, so we've had one jump out today, which is always good. We always like jumping cards, don't we? So we have got hope. Love and acceptance, love is yours, recognise your divine worth, choose loving thoughts. Isn't that beautiful colours? Krishna, devotion, trust your spiritual guidance, your commitment has been recognised, you are loved unconditionally. And Kathumi, cloak of wisdom, you already know the answer you seek, trust what you know. Okay. So what these cards are um, saying to me this week is that you have, this week is about love and acceptance. Love and acceptance of not just others, but yourself as well. I really feel like these cards this week are about your spiritual growth, your own way of being in the world um, this week. You know, we're, come, we're in the autumn equinox, so it's a time of reflection, release and renewal anyway. So these cards actually tie in quite nicely with that. So what they're saying is, you know, choose loving thoughts, you know, choose positive thoughts for yourself, for, for what's going on in the world. You know, we create our own, our own, our own reality. And if you've got loving thoughts and you've got positivity, you're thinking about yourself then that actually radiates out of you and that radiates out to other people. Um, so that then starts the collective energy of unconditional love and acceptance that goes all the way out so that we create the most brilliant um, life on earth. And you're, you know, you're part of that. But you really, love, really need to recognise that you are a divine being. You are meant to be here. You are part of this collective energy to bring love, joy to um, not just everyone else, but to yourself as well, you know. Know that you are loved unconditionally. Know that you have spiritual guidance all around you. You just have to go within, go into your heart, really connect, ask, you know, my spiritual team, 
my angels, my guides, you know, how can I move forward? How can I love myself? How can I stay in this positive energy? How can I bring these things into my life and see what the answers are? How, what, how do you feel those, you know, where do you feel those answers? Rather than using your logical brain, where do you feel that in your body, in your heart? And just be open to the answers that come to you, whether they're um, through your thoughts or whether they are um, through writings or things you hear. Just be open and aware to all of that. And trust that the answers you receive are the answers that for your highest good and the highest good of everyone around you. You know, if you get a chance this week, take time to sit in that quiet contemplation. To, to, to seek those answers to things that you want to know in the world, that you want to bring into the world. Go within, ask. You know, there are so many guided meditations that are out there. You know, I've got some on YouTube and Inside Timer. Others have got them out there. Trust your intuition as to which of these guided meditations are going to help you for your highest good if you find it hard to do guided meditation yourself. And of course, you can always look to people like myself to help you with that. But you do have the answers within you. So meditate. Go within and just be in love, you know, treat yourself well this week. Do nice things for yourself, love yourself. This week really is about love and devotion and trusting that inner wisdom that you have within you. And that's really all they're saying for me this, this week. Um, as always, this is my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different interpretation. That's absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So please do let me know in the comments or message me privately. I always reply to everyone. So the cards again are hope, love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognise your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. You are loved. You are love. Love yourself. Say positive things. Think positive things about yourself. Krishna, devotion, trust your spiritual guidance, your commitment has been recognised, you are loved unconditionally, know that the universe, the angels, the guides, you know, love you unconditionally and know that you can ask for help and guidance anytime. And Kathumi, cloak of wisdom, you already know the answer you seek, trust what you know, you already have the answers within you, so go within find those answers. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. As I said, do let me know in the comments and do check out the replay of um, the Harness, the Power of the Autumn Equinox and Unlock Your Spiritual Powers and check out the membership. Um, and then in October, no, sorry, November, I'm also going to be running um, Future Life Progression Practitioners Training, which is absolutely amazing, uh, where you can learn how to take people into the future, into the past, um, and also get to experience it yourself. So you actually gain insights um, from your past and your future as well as you work with the other students. It is an amazing teaching. And of course, don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, um, which uh, is take, if you're watching this on Sunday the 22nd, it's taking place tomorrow the 23rd of September at 8 p.m. UK time. I've got the beautiful Angelic Jeanette as my guest, so I'm really looking forward to that conversation. I'm pretty sure we're going to have lots of angels around us with that conversation. And if you're watching later in the week, hey, then watch the replay. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful autumn equinox. And don't forget, be lease and renewal. Find that balance in life. Take care. Bye.